Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Phoenix Rise Game Vintage here, back with another video. And on this episode, uh, man, I just got a big thrift haul. Of course, not from the thrift stores. Uh, the thrifts aren't open at the moment, so I hit up the homie Austin from 505 Vintage. Uh, we just opened up the shop uh, as I'm recording today, and so we need new inventory. And so um, I was talking with Bowie, and we we're like, you know, how are you gonna get new inventory? So we thought we'd hit up some friends and see what they have. And uh, Austin came through, we checked out and see what he had. So I thought it'd be fun to show off, you know, some of the pieces I got from that haul. And, you know, some things that are gonna be in store, you know, here soon, not only in store if you're local, but online. Um, just through Instagram and everything. So man, I'm really excited about this. So without further ado, let's get into it All right, you guys so starting with the finds here. Um, this is before the buyout with Austin. It's this Malcolm X Just multi-colored snapback uh, Man, I love it 90s color blocking. I don't know why man these colors just go together so well that like dark red the dark green um, and that dark yellow just you know pops so much and then up next starting with Austin's buyout here Man, this Nike windbreaker is so sick. Love that back. Reminds me of kind of like maybe, you know, some Air Max 98s, 95s. Um, definitely a good thing to pair with those kind of style shoes. And, you know, I was talking to Bowie about it. It's, uh, it's funny because, you know, with the archive, we're inside Ellis around the sneaker store here in uh, West Des Moines. And those pieces, like the Nike pieces, just pair so well with a lot of shoes. I mean, I, like I said, I could see that with a pair of Air Maxes, uh, maybe even some Jordans as well, some retros. Getting into this next, you know, looking into the t-shirt groups, um, we got the Queen of Hearts, Betty Boop here. So sick, double-sided. Man, the, the crazy thing about Betty Boop pieces is you're starting to see a lot that, uh, you know, the prices are starting to go up on a lot of t-shirts. I don't know if a celebrity wore it or like, um, just people are starting to really dig her designs, but I'm starting to see those, you know, prices go up. So if you guys have any Betty Boop pieces, definitely hold on to them for a little bit, I'd say, and uh, kind of see if the price goes, um, you know, up. And then this next one here I got is this uh, Bugs Bunny swoosh tee. Again, double sided, really sick. Um, probably like a medium large or something, but a little dope graphic of the Bugs Bunny right there. Dope graphic on the back. So sick. Man, Looney Tunes tees, again, you, you uh, charge them for like 20 to 30 bucks and it's a simple flip, um, really easy price. And that goes for the same with this next t-shirt, paper thin Mickey t-shirt. Love this, just different Mickey sides, different colors. Such an easy summer tee to you know move. Um, and you always find them, for some reason, they always have like the Pensacola, Florida or like different states, cities on them. Um, so it's really cool to see those, uh, you know, those Mickey T's. I always love. I, uh, personally, I want to find like an Epcot shirt in the double X. So if you guys have that, hit me up. Um, getting into the next T-shirt, got this Nike, that like classic great colorway, uh, gray or silver tag, whichever one you prefer. Simple block Nike piece with the swoosh and this uh, in the inside of the blocking of the Nike. Can't go wrong, beautiful fade on it. Um, t-shirts like that, again, Nike t-shirts, especially in our setting, really easy to move. Uh, people love Nike tees a lot there, so. All right, so we got the Budweiser Frogs, and then on the back, Budweiser tees, man, just, and then on the front says, the Bud, this Bud's for you. Budweiser tees, Bud Light, um, a lot of those beer, man, they made a lot of really great, uh, you know, ad promos and commercials and their t-shirts are really good. Um, people ask me, you know, from time to time, like, are you into like the cigarette tees or alcohol tees? I have to go to alcohol, man. I mean, I know Marvel and Campbell have made some really dope tees, but if you look at just Bud Light and Budweiser campaigns on their t-shirts, it's just really cool for sure. And speaking of this next one, we got a crew neck here. The famous Spuds McKenzie, man. Little Bud Light hit, beautiful colors. This is a crew neck. It's still, you know, obviously we're buying mostly t-shirts, jerseys and stuff like that right now, but um, you still gotta get the crew necks. It gets cold, man, anywhere. You know, whether it's here in Iowa, out in California, it gets cold at night. So people like just a simple sweater to throw on. Uh, man, up next, I got this one that I think is really dope. It's this Harley piece. But then the back, my Iowa people will know, you know, just the Des Moines, Iowa hit right there. That's where I'm from. Um, so to get a piece like that is just really sick. 
And then of course it's on a screen stars as well. Can't go wrong. Harley pieces, again, another easy move in the shop. Um, I can see that, you know, selling pretty quick. I think the date on that was 1986. So that's really sick as well. Uh, man, up next, this one we thrifted before all the shutdown and everything, but this Nike, just do it, man. That kind of growth inspired shout out to Bowie. Um, the kind of inspo from his growth collection that you saw in one of the videos, uh, the behind the label episode I did, he talks about it. Well, this is a good one as well. We got the Limp Biscuit tour t-shirt. But this one's different, man. Of The tour dates, you don't see that too often. Usually you just see this graphic and you don't see the tour dates too often. So definitely sick. It's got a little bleach stain on it, but nothing, you know, crazy. And man, they hit a lot of places um, you know, just across the country. So it's pretty crazy. I've always loved this graphic. Um, was it? Limp Bizkit wasn't like ever my favorite group. Um, I, I know for sure like Fred Durst, you know, has has a special place in my heart for uh, No Mercy if he was an unlockable character. If you guys don't know, now you know. Um, and then he did uh, the theme song for the American Badass Undertaker um, with the Rolling song and everything. So um, that's about, I was never like a huge, I'm not gonna front and be like, oh my God, Lip Biscuit. Like, I mean, they, they, it was a place in time, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, up next, promo t-shirts, man. I love these a lot. Um, promo prices are shooting up and definitely, you know, happy to get some of these. Uh, Simple X-Files uh, with the X-Files brand tag, which is pretty sick. So that's wild. Um, 90, 1998. And then on the back, just a simple hit, Fight for the Future. This one's really sick too. This is going to be a teal Star Wars Episode 1 piece. So wild on the official... Star Wars tag there for the merch and this one you know being a teal I like obviously we collect t-shirts and we see a lot of like the black t-shirt pieces the whites the you know maybe grays but you don't see like the off-colored ones like a teal or orange or stuff like that so it's pretty cool to see some of those pieces for sure um, sticking with the promo vibe this is one that Bowie had that I thought was so sick um, that we picked up from the shop this is the crouching hidden tiger on a giant tag there. Again, so sick. A movie that, man, I would have never known about it. Um, I don't watch too many, uh, you know, I don't watch movies like that. I mean, obviously the big ones and everything, but this one, um, I had some friends down the street when I was growing up and they always had this movie on. They always had a lot of um, different, you know, action movies and, you know, Kung Fu movies and just a bunch of just different movies I wouldn't see too often on. So. Uh, I got to watch you know this movie a lot, so it's pretty funny to see it on a promo t-shirt again it, on a giant tag too, which is pretty sweet. And a, a, just a t-shirt you don't see too often for sure. Uh, man, here's another one. I love these Universal Studios t-shirts and the ride t-shirts, so sick. Men in Black, Alien Attack. First of all, such a good movie, and just that that hit. If you guys see that green, that Alien Attack. I mean, I would love it if it was just black and silver, but just that hit of the alien attack, you can't go wrong. Really sick piece. Um, eventually, I've never been. I've never been to Universal Studios or Disney World or anything, so I definitely want to make that trip sometime. I'm going to have to wear some of this uh, down there, but hopefully I can find some good, you know, go thrifting out there, find some good Universal Studio pieces. Uh, man, what else do we got? Closing out. Ooh, this one's dope. I like this one a lot. All right, so closing out here, uh, we got a final few pieces. The ICP Insane Clown Posse, the Wicked Clowns piece. Again, another group that <laughs> some people liked, uh, some people don't like. It's a very love-hate relationship with them, but you know, they're, they're juggalos, they're, they're diehards, man, are really into them. Um, I know them, you know, again, like I listen to them, I know some of their songs, but um, again, not the hugest, you know, or biggest fan, but in wrestling, again, I always go back to wrestling, but uh, they did some special matches, and I remember one where uh, they went up against the Headbangers um, in like a, a big tag team, like street fight match, and it was pretty cool. Uh, it's, they're, again, just a group you don't see too often, so uh, pieces like that, again, we put in store, they fly off the shelves really easy. Um, Another one is this Harley piece. Again, like I mentioned before, man, Harley pieces go pretty quick. It's from 96. 
Man, like I mentioned in the video before, um, at our stay home collections with the homie Benji from Lucky Devil Vintage, uh, here's the back on that. Harley T's, man, just, you know, are very underappreciated, I feel like. I feel like they have really great graphics, but not a lot of people rock them. So it's very interesting to me. Um, thankfully, here in Iowa and at the shop, people really like them. They like biker tees. Um, they like anything that's like Sturgis or, you know, Harley, because it's a big scene here with motorcycles and just people for fashion really like them as well. Um, so that's really cool. And another one that people are really into, and that's a, this is across the country. As you guys know, The Last Dance is going on. At the time of this recording, uh, the series finale is next Sunday. And man, this is, this is just anything Bulls is going to fly easily. And this is on a starter. This is the 96th season, I want to say, the championship. Um, so the first one back, that 72-10 season, the, you know, just... Again, I mean, I'm, I'm not here to throw debates, but, you know, we could talk you know, on Instagram or something, but um, I hope, hopefully, you know, people learn from, the, I'm a Bulls fan personally, but hopefully you guys see from this documentary that there is no comparison. That 72-10 Bulls team is, you know, wiping the floor with that 73-9 uh, Golden State Warriors team. You know, don't at me. If you want to, let's have this discussion. I'm ready to come with the facts. Uh, but this Last Dance series is so amazing, just beautifully directed. Um, it's really cool to see some of the you know the pieces, uh, the marketing behind it through episode and four with the whole Nike and uh, Jordan signing with Nike and everything was really cool. Um, some of my favorite pieces are in there and pieces I didn't even know about um, are in that that episode. So really cool to see. But again, Bulls tees really easy to find, uh, but also really easy to move for us you know here in Iowa. And finishing it out with the last three pieces, man, this is some crazy stuff. So. Again, you guys know I'm obviously into wrestling, so I'm going to show you a couple wrestling pieces here. First of all, simple, the NWO for life. It's a 2X. I thought about keeping it, but I'm on the wave of anything I buy. I can't, you know, it's about selling, you know, we're trying to get the business going and everything. Um, it's on a T America tag. It's a really good fitting tag, so if you guys are like my size, you know, like a, a XL double X, um, really easy um, fit, man, nice flow with it. So. If you guys are that, hit me up. And then next up, man, another piece I've always wanted, the D-Generation X piece with the whole crew on there. Road Dog, man, Billy Gunn, China. Uh, man, the only one that doesn't have on there, of course, is Sean. But uh, just, I mean, who didn't love DX? And uh, just a simple, it's on a Highland tag as well. And you can't go wrong. That's going to be an easy move. People are really getting into wrestling tees lately. I've been having multiple conversations, not only in video, but off camera as well. Wrestling tees are, you know, they're going to start to shoot up. So um, if you guys are into wrestling tees, definitely grab them now because I feel like they're going to start to shoot up for sure. And um, as a collector, you know, I'm kind of, it's kind of love hate because I'm a collector. So I'm really into wrestling tees. So I'm upset that they're, you know, skyrocketing. But then as a seller, as a business owner, I mean, I'm loving it because, you know, people are really into it um, and it's really cool to see. And finally, man, the final piece I want to show off to you guys. This is one I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, man, of course, the boy band craze. You had to get the Backstreet Boys. Man, this piece is so sick. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, man. It kind of looks like a Euro bootleg. Um, for sure, this is a parking lot tee. Colors pop so much. Where's all my Backstreet Boys NSYNC fans at? Definitely hit me up for this one. Again, so sick, pieces you you know you don't see every day. And uh, it's just really good to find and get some new pieces, man. I've been really fiending to go to the thrifts. Um, they're not open right now, so hopefully they open soon. And if they are open to your guys' area, stay safe, have fun, and uh, you know, post your finds, man. Let me know what you guys are finding uh, in the comments below. Hit me up on Instagram, at Rise Again Vintage. And yeah, man, that's gonna do it for the end of this video. I do wanna thank you for tuning in. Hopefully when these thrift stores open back up, I'm going to do more thrift hauls, but we're also looking to do buyouts with people, um, so I might do more videos like that, like I just did. Shout out to the homie Austin from 505 Vintage. Go check him out, guys. He's on eBay. He's got a bunch of heat, and uh, thank you for you know selling us some stuff, and you know he was happy, we were happy, and it was definitely a good transaction for sure. Uh, but again, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for tuning in. You can follow me, like I said, on you know Instagram, at Vintage. Um, also follow our shops page, which is at the Archive IA. All of everything we'll have for sale um, is going to be on there. I sometimes post some personals and you know things I'll have for sale on the Rise Game page, but anything we have for sale between Bowie and I 
It's going to be on the Archive IA, so check that out. Um, and again, you can follow anything Rise Again Media related on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Rise Again Create. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.